Okay, in this next one we have an inside function and an outside function as well. So we can set the inside function, the x, plus, the x cubed plus 9, equal to u. And then take the derivative of both sides. So du dx is equal to, bring the 3 down to the front, 3x squared, and uh, the 9 goes to 0. So this would be my du dx. From here I solve for dx by multiplying both sides by dx to get du is equal to 3x squared dx, and then divide both sides by 3x squared to finish solving for dx, to get dx is equal to du over 3x squared. So from here I can plug in my u and my dx into my original integral. So I get the integral, I'm going to leave the x squared there, but substitute my inside function for u, so that's u to the power of 5 and then substitute my dx is du over 3x squared. So now we have an x squared on top and an x squared on bottom. Those can cancel. Bring the 1 third out to the front to get 1 third is e of the, excuse me, 1 third integral of u to the fifth du. And then I can take my integral using my power rule. I'll just bring down my 1 third. I'll add 1 to the exponent to make 6, divide by the new exponent, which is 6, and add my c when I take my integral. But then again, I need to re-substitute um, my x cubed plus 9 into my u. So that makes 1 third times x cubed plus 9 to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. And then if I multiply my fractions, um, I multiply straight across and I get the numerator is just one time so it doesn't change the numerator x cubed plus 9 to the power of 6 and then multiply my denominators 3 times 6 is 18 plus C and that is the final answer